In this video, we'll see how to customize your Tribbin. So for example, if you want to create your own tabs or you want to add some uh, options to your tabs, you can do that. So here, if you see, I have mini tabs that is home, insert, design, layout and so on. If you want to create your own tab and in that tab, you want your own functions. For example, if you want to go to, uh, you know, create a chart, you have to go to insert tab. If you want to go to some other, let's say spelling check, you have to go to this review tab. Why not create your own tab, which will have your required commands, which you, which you need every now and then. So you can create your own tab. What are the steps to create your own tab is you can go to file options and you can see here as customize ribbon. Okay. On the right hand side, if you see that's customize the ribbon and there are main tabs. What are the main tabs available? Home, insert, design, layout. And if you observe home, insert, design, layout. So all these are the tabs. If you want to create your own tab, you have to click on this place as new tab button. So I'll just click on this new tab button and you see there's a new tab and along with that, there's a new group. Now, what exactly is a group? So these are the tabs and everything that is a clipboard or you can see that's a font paragraph. These are separate groups in that tab. So now what I'll do is I'll just click on this new tab and I want to give some other name. So here I can just select and I can click on this rename. So I can click on this rename and I can just type any name here. I'll type here as my tab. Okay. And I'll click on OK. So now I will have a tab that is nothing but a my tab after this home. And uh, on this place, I want to add some commands. So I'll just click on this new group because in the group only you can add the commands. I can just select this copy add. So in this my tab, the commands will be copy. Okay. And few more commands. That's it. And I'll just click on OK. So what happened was after my home tab, there was my tab, which consists of this cut copy and uh, some few more functions, right? So this way you can create your own tab and also assign some different group itself. So these are some things here. Now let us see some more topic in this. How do we add commands to quick access toolbar? This is nothing but a quick access toolbar. There are some commands in Microsoft Word which are hidden at the back end, which are not so visible, right? So you can bring them forward or you can just attach this as a shortcut toolbar. You can use that. For example, I want this text to be converted into speech. I want a software kind of which should convert text to speech. So I have something in this place that is known as speak cells. In Microsoft Word, there's an option known as speak cells. That speak cells command I'll bring into this place and this text will be read by Microsoft Word. How do I do that? Go, can go to this file, options, quick access toolbar, and you see there's a popular commands. Okay, so from this popular commands, I'll select here as all commands. These are all commands. From this, I'll pick up one command and put into right hand side. What exactly is right hand side? That is nothing but a customized quick access toolbar. Save, undo, redo. And if you see here, save, undo, redo, these are some functions. So I'll pick up one function from here and I'll add on the right hand side. The function or the command is nothing but speak cells. So I'll just try to find with the help of, I'll just press S from my keyboard and I'll find that speak cells or you can say speak. This is the button that is the command speak. And I'll just click on this add. So once I click on this add, it will come on the right hand side. Click on add, you got speak. So if I click on OK, this command will be added here. I'll click on OK and you see there's a button which is added, which is disabled. It is not enabled, right? If I want to enable, I have to select some text like this. Okay. So I'll select some text like this. Okay. Now selected text, if I want to convert into a speech, what I can do is I can just click on this button. Now it is enabled. I'll just click on the speech and see what happens. This will be read. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. When you click on live video, you can paste in the embed code for the video you want to add. Okay. Now you might think where it is used exactly. Sometimes you have two copies. One is a soft copy and a hard copy. You want to check whether the both things are matching together or not. So that time you can ask this word to speak for you that will be converted into a text to a speech software. So that is also inbuilt in this place. So I hope you have understood how to customize ribbon, create tabs, add commands to your tabs, and also you can add commands to the quick access toolbar. That's all for this video.